Hi everyone, my name is Emily Carta. I'm the staff librarian at Brooks Free Library and today I'm here with Jennifer Pickett, our reference librarian, to talk about some of the programs we have coming up in November. We've got some great things on the table. I know Climate Change Week just happened, but we really wanted to bring that conversation further into the year. So to do that, we're going to start things off by having a new programming series. Many of you might be familiar with our music series, with our movie matinees that we had. Well, this one we're calling Extreme Weather, and the first one is going to be Extreme Weather, Tornadoes with Phil Burt. So we did have a tornado come through here in July. I know a lot of us were impacted. This is the start of looking back on that and just kind of getting a better understanding of why do these happen, um, you know, where do they come from, and Phil's going to answer some of your questions in a Q&A on it. But I'm going to turn this over to Jennifer so she can talk a little bit more about the program and, you know, Phil's background. So hi everyone, um, I'm Jennifer Pickett, reference librarian at the Brooks Free Library. We are really, really excited to have Phil Burt, who runs CapeCodWeather.net, which is a local Cape Cod weather site that a lot of us use on a daily basis. He's a great forecaster, great meteorologist. We are really excited to have him come and talk about the scientific aspects of what happened, why it happened, how it works if it's going to happen again, all those kind of questions. He's going to do a presentation. We're really excited. He's, he's using photos from the event that we're, we're giving to him. Um, he's going to be showing the line of the tornado that came by, and he's going to be answering a lot of questions. So I know a lot of us had a lot of questions when this happened, so this is the opportunity to, to ask a real expert about this, um, this event that so rarely happens on Cape Cod. Um, we've been trying to put this together for a couple of months now. Yeah. It's been difficult. Um, <laughs> we had hurricane season, so meteorologists mm -hmm. have been pretty busy. Um, but we're really excited to have Phil specifically to talk about tornadoes. And so again, this event is going to be Thursday night, November 14th at 6 p.m. It's really targeted for all ages. It's totally okay to bring kids. Um, I think he's going to be entertaining. He's going to do a presentation, and there's going to be a lot of time for question and answer. So all of you with lingering questions about what happened and why <laughs> this tornado on Cape Cod happened, please come. And then we're excited about the community conversations program that we're going to have the next week, which Emily's going to talk a little bit about. Yeah. And that's going to be the next Thursday, November 21st at 2 p.m. All right. So community conversations. This is going to be a creative follow-up to the discussion that Phil starts. And what it is is... We're inviting you to come into the library um, and just sit down and work with your fellow community members to address some of these bigger questions on like what could we have done better what did we do well this time that way I know part of processing is talking about things that go on so this is a way for you to connect with people maybe outside your friend group outside your neighborhood who may have had a similar experience during the tornado or had a totally different one and you could share your insights and learn something from them so if you come, we have coffee. Um, I will try and bring snacks as well. This is not me bribing you, but, <laughs> but it kind of is. So please definitely consider coming. Um, you don't have to be like artsy or anything to come here. It's not, we're not going to be judging work or, or judging your thoughts or anything that you put out there. It's mostly so you can have a place to express yourself with other people. And we'll have more details on that as we go forward. Mm -hmm. One thing I do want to say, though, actually, before all of this, if you do have pictures of the tornado that you want to submit for Phil to use, um, if you email them to brooksfreelibrary at clamsnet.org with the subject line tornado photos or tornado pics, if you email those to us before October 20th, we'll get them to fill. It just needs to have that street address that's really important so he can plot the path that this tornado took. So if you, again, if you have any pictures of the damage to trees, roads, um, structures, please forward them to us if you'd like and we'd be happy to pass them on. And again, the deadline for that is October 20th and it absolutely does need the street address. Yeah, I'm excited about that. I think there was a lot more damage that people are discovering just this yeah. weekend. I went for some walks in Conservation Area in Harwich and Chatham, and I hadn't been to those places in a while, and I couldn't believe the trees that were down in some of them. So I think 
There's a lot of damage out there. It wasn't just the path of the tornado. That's the question that mm -hmm. I have because um, I live nearby, but I wasn't in the path of tornado, but I had a lot of damage in my yard as well. So I'm curious as to how that all works. Um, the right. damage that I've seen that wasn't in the path of the tornado was, was pretty severe. So they call it straight line winds, but right. I don't really know what that means. Yeah, and so <laughs> that's one of those things that we definitely need to find out, like, what is it with a tornado? We all know about hurricanes and how big they are and they go around in a circle and there's a wide, um, you know, area, but tornadoes are supposed to be this localized thing, but it seemed like there were these little odd patches of winds that did a lot of damage around town. So that's kind of one of my questions. Um, and I'm also just excited about the community conversations discussion because everybody's got their tornado story and we've heard a lot of them here at the library and it's very interesting. I mean, it's from being at Ground Zero, working that yeah. day, we yeah, had a very different experience. I run into a lot of people who completely ignored it and it barely affected them whatsoever. Mm -hmm. um, so, and it just happened so suddenly. It was very different than any other storm that we've had where we knew it was coming. Mm -hmm. This thing happened really suddenly in the middle of the day, in the middle of the summer. And it was a bit traumatic for a lot of people. So the community discussion is like the chance for you to get together with other members of the community and share your story and talk about what happened and talk about were you prepared? How did you react? How would you do it better the next time? What can we do better the next time? Um, it's about being prepared for a disaster and also just processing the event. I feel like this thing happened in the middle of the summer and we're all so busy and we all just kind of moved on and did what we needed to do. and. But it's been a few months now, so maybe people still have a lot of things they want to talk about. So community conversations, that's going to be Thursday the 21st at 2 p.m. We'd really like people to sign up for that. We're actually requiring registration for yeah. that. Yep. It's important just so we get an idea of how many people are going to show up. So please go to the website, brooksfreelibrary.org, or you could give us a call at the library. Let me not get the phone. 508-430-756. Uh, <laughs> Two. Two. Um, call us at the library and let us know you want to register for that. And it's going to be fun. It's, it it's, will be. Yeah, it's, we're going to have snacks and we're really going to make it a nice environment, yeah. casual, you know, discussion, not really a presentation, just an opportunity for people to get together and talk about things. And we hope that that goes well. Definitely. Mm -hmm. but, all right, so that's what's coming at the, up in November. Um, you can take a look at our online calendar. Again, it's events. It's on that red ribbon on brooksfreelibrary.org. And you can have a whole calendar to view, you can change it to a list view, whatever you prefer to look at. But that's where you can find what's coming up, where you can sign up. Um, again, to sign up, it's clicking that little hand and pen icon on the bottom of the event that's listed on the day. And that's where you can fill out your name, your email address, your phone. It will send you a reminder to let you know that a program is coming up that you've registered for. So that's always a nice feature that I've enjoyed mm -hmm. in the past, so I remember. But. Um, yeah, that's it for November. We'll be back again later with some more library information. Thank yep. you. Thank you.